Now, we are going to make a WordPress theme using, I guess, going beyond what we've already learned while creating a responsive site and an app site. Now we're going to create a WordPress site together. Okay, let's go to our beautiful FTP. When we create uh, a WordPress site, a WordPress theme, we can no longer look at it in the browser because in order to see PHP pages, you have to have those files on a server. And so you're going to have to make changes, FTP them to the server, and then test them by refreshing. Okay, let's look a little bit at this here uh, FTP setup. I've already created a header image, which is 1280 by 200, and a file called screenshot. Now what these are, number one, here's this is what the header is going to look like, mobile first, and this is what the screenshot is. What the screenshot is, it's a, it's basically a, a picture, a graphic, that if you were to look at it in your, uh, in your themes directory, so let's go back here and take a look. Here we go. If we go in Appearance and Themes, you see a thumbnail of the theme that's created. Well, you're going to want to do that too. So your theme is going to have a screenshot. Now, if you wanted to know, all you have to do is right click and view the image. And then what you can do is right click and do a view image info. And you can see that that screenshot is 880 by 660. So if you're going to make a screenshot for your theme, you should probably start with that size. Uh, create a screenshot PNG that has to be called screenshot PNG, nothing else, no capital S, no spaces, no special characters. It has to be exactly screenshot PNG. Okay. So there it is. Uh, so I've already created that in Photoshop. That's going to be our screenshot when we're all done. And as you can see, it's already here in our root folder. We're going to create a bunch of files for this, uh, this WordPress theme, and we'll keep it all in a file. Because look, here's the setup. Here's all the files that make a WordPress site. Now, all of these fit files could be updated and overwritten when you update WordPress. So everything in the WP Admin, everything in the WP Includes except, and this is extremely important, in the WP Content. So all the manipulation that you're going to do on files, you've got to save these somewhere in the WP Content. Okay, if you go to the WP Content, you see several directories here. When you download a plugin for WordPress, they download and go into plugins. When you download, when you upload pictures to your WordPress site, they go into uploads where they are sorted by year and month. But this, this is what we're most concerned with here. This directory, whenever you have a theme uh, and you download it from WordPress or you create it, all themes need to be gathered up and put in the themes directory. So let me show you where that is again. Here's the root folder of your WordPress. Here's WP content. And here's W here's themes. So we're going to create a directory. Yeah, I don't know. We'll call it uh, let's call it theme demo. Okay, theme demo. All right. So now that we have theme demo, we can move our header image in there and we can move our screenshot. All the things, all the files that we create, they'll wind up here in my WP demo directory and we will move them here in order to test them. Just so that you know, that's exactly how the setup is. All right, so let's go to our, uh, let's go to our, tool here and we're going to create a site just like we normally do it's going to be responsive we're going to follow the same process that we did for a responsive site and for our app site 
Okay, so let's begin. I'm just going to call this WP underscore demo. So as you can see, it already begins to write the code for you. WP demo one, WP demo two, so that's good. We are going to have our header image and it can be in the root of our of our theme. Our, him, our uh, image is going to be 1280, but I think I said 200. And we're going to make a, a theme that will be responsive to all of these uh, sizes. Next, we're going to skip the start page because that's going to be in the WordPress here. And let's create our, our uh, rows for our site. We're going to have a header. And we're going to have 12 columns and we're going to have it at amp, amp image. Okay, so there it is. It's going to write the code for you. Then our second is going to be, let's, let's call it nav. If in this tool you call it nav, uh, when it writes the, well, it might not be in this case with the WordPress. But if you do it on uh, just a regular old site, it'll take the nesting off because we want the buttons not to be nested. And if you go through these other things, you'll know what I mean. All right, let's go and do our section. Let's be consistent with the rest of the lessons. And we'll do a right bar. <laughs> and that'll be four because it has to equal 12 or less really. Okay, and let's do our row four and we'll have uh, let's say uh, news 01 and there will be four or three of these and so they'll each go a third over so that makes four four twelves okay so we'll have news where we can put some stuff and let's put, I don't know, let's put, uh, let's put uh, graphics. Graphics 01. It's always important to re to name your div separately. You know, you, you won't be, you can't be tempted to uh, call them all graphics one. All divs should be individual. It's classes that could be reused. Okay, so let's see. Those will be three, 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 and three. Let's do our footer. And that'll go all the way across. All right, so now we have our beautiful, beautiful site uh, all set up. Now let's create our WordPress files. Now every single WordPress theme has to have certain files. Uh, one of them is header, the other footer, an index, a CSS, and it's usually pretty important to have functions. You put a lot of code into functions and it's just a wonderful place to put it. So let's create these really quick. Let's create our header. Okay, now look, there's nothing here to, that you, you haven't seen before. You see the boilerplate. You know, there, there's some uh, uh, WordPress code here that will get the title out of the database. But for the most part, there it is. All you have to do is co copy it. Go to your Dreamweaver. Yeah, we'll use Dreamweaver now. And in code view, make sure you're in code view. If you paste it any, like in the design view, it's going to get messed up. So just select everything and replace it. And there you have your header. There's nothing else you need to do with this. So let's save it as header. Now remember, Naming conventions are important here. It has to be exactly P H header PHP lowercase because it's the only file that WordPress will be looking for when it loads your site. If you call it with a capital H, it's not going to work. If you make this uh, uppercase PHP, it's not going to work. If you call it header HTML, it's not going to work. So it has to be exactly that. I'm going to save and there's our header. Okay, that was easy. Well, 
guess what? Making the footer is just as easy. You just copy this, you'll notice this, this is what you're going to remove after your design process. That just is going to tell you how wide your screen is. So let's copy this. Let's create a new. Doesn't matter what you pick there because you're just going to highlight it and save it as footer. What this, what this code does is uh, you know when you're signed into your dashboard and you go look at your site it's the black uh, nav bar at the top that helps you add it and create new pages okay so there's that let's go back to our tool find out what we need next which is the next file that it needs which is the index this is everything's going to be based off of this particular file. It looks like I have an extra div here. You probably saw that right away. We're going to have to remove that or remove this one either way. Yeah, see, because here's the nested and the nested closes. I'll fix this probably when you use this. That's probably not going to be the case, so you could probably ignore that. All right, let's get this. Let's copy this. Let's open up a new, just delete everything and paste that. Uh, like I said, you're not going to have this particular problem. Oh no, that's probably correct. All right, let's save this as index.php, just like the tool tells you to. It has to be index.php, nothing else will work. So here we have our footer, our, our header, our screenshot our header graphic and now we have our index that PHP and like I said you, you don't absolutely need to have a functions but what this functions is going to do it's going to create little widget areas where you will be able to drag your various uh, widgets and plugins uh, and and this is going to allow you to do that it'll be clear later on but one thing we want to do here, I have to stress this, what you've got to do on this one is when you create this functions, there cannot be any lines or spaces before the PHP or after. There appears to be none at this point, but look, if I was to put some spaces or some lines, you might think it, it, there aren't any. But in fact, there are. You can see it goes down to line 22. You want to make sure that there is nothing, absolutely nothing before or after this script. All right, let's save this. Functions. Once again, it has to be exactly that. No being creative here, you creative types. Okay, now let me just show you something. Oh, okay, now let's go back. We forgot one, but that's okay because it's it's kind of a, a, a thing we're going to pause on. This WP CSS, notice it is called styles, style CSS, not styles, not with an S, not with a Z, not with a capital. It is called style CSS, and that is exactly what it has to be. So let's copy that, create a new page, doesn't matter what we pick there because we're going to delete it all and put that now. I'm going to save it as style CSS and I'll tell you why this is such a, a key such a key document here. At the very top you will see that there is a theme name. Right now it's called WP <laughs> Demo Fun but this is what that why this is so important. When you go in here and you go to pick a theme and it is called something 2014, this is where that is determined. Version 1.6 is determined by the style CSS. By is determined by the style CSS. The description is also determined by what's in the style CSS. Let me show you. Whatever we're going to call this, we're going to call this, I don't care. It doesn't, I don't care. We'll call it farmer 
family. Okay, that'd be good. Farmer family. And then this is a link to our website where our we can have our uh, uh, our portfolio, our company site. So if somebody really likes this theme and they want to get a hold of you, uh, they they have a link there. All right, and there's a little bit of description, a template built around WP demo approach, and then I'll put my name. And the version, every time you update it, if you want, you can change the uh, one. So that's style CSS. Now watch what happens here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refresh so I can see all my files. And then I'm going to grab them and move them into my directory. I'm going to just click this. That means I, it won't ask me, do I want to overwrite anymore? And there they are. Notice they're in the WP content, themes, and then my theme directory. So now I have my footer, functions, my header, JPEG, my header, PHP, my index, my screenshot, and my style CSS, which means if I was to go back to my, my uh, WordPress and I go to themes, I now see the farmer family. It has my PNG, my screenshot PNG, and if I want the theme details, you'll see what I put in the head. There it is, version one. It's by Moose Loose LLC, and it has a description. So that's why, let's, let's just uh, close this then, and you can see why the style CSS and the screen uh, shot PNG. So let's activate this and see how well we did. And there it is. There is our responsive, our beautiful responsive structure for our site. And you can see it's already uh, responsive and there it is. Now this could get in the way up here. And so what we're going to do uh, we'll leave it for now. But we're going to want to move that because it's going to get in the way of the design. I'll show you how to do that when the time comes. So we have all our pages. Let me re reiterate. All in the themes. The, it's in the, the WP content themes and whatever our theme directory is. This really doesn't matter uh, because what's going on is WordPress is looking in the themes directory for any style CSS. So we have our footer, which puts that nav bar at the top. We have functions that creates, I'll show you what the functions does. Remember when we had uh, our functions and it said register these sidebars? Well, what happens is when you go to the dashboard or go to widgets, look, here they all are. Uh, here's all the things that we created and we're able, when we're done, to drag things into those areas, okay? But the only reason those exist here is because in the functions, we created these widget areas, okay? I'm just, a lot of times in the header, this stuff comes naturally. Uh, as default, I'm getting rid of them because this will really goof you up. All right, so there you got it. You, you created all the pages that are necessary for your theme. They work because you just copied and pasted uh, and uh, we're ready to start connecting our beautiful site uh, with a database.